Yo guys, here's Andrew again, and here's another video. This video is basically basically the last video, except yesterday I got a few new things from Amazon. Got this here condenser microphone, and it's connected to the Zyber board. But also connected to the Zyber board is a pair of speakers. I think the last video I actually did it in my lab back in the college because I had speakers there. But these speakers I just got, and this is for like my new setup here. I'm gonna have a second monitor for my computer. Plus this monitor is going to be very useful for future projects. I've actually been doing a lot of stuff on Pedal Linux using uh, the VGA, using an XI display card, but I'll talk about that later. For now, for this project, I already have the system running. If I start the application, as you can hear, the, you know, the core kicks in after being initialized, so the speakers make a sound. And instead of having a piano type project where I'm able to play different notes over the uh, audio codec from the Zyber board. Uh, I could do multiple things here, basically using uh, the mic and uh, a few other things. So this is just playing middle C essentially, but that's the only note you can play. And I can turn it off. In addition to that, I can also connect the mic directly to the output of the audio codec. And now I can speak through the microphone. All it really does is it takes each sample and then it just outputs the sample back into the audio codec. There's a few other things going on which I'll kind of explain later, but that's basically all it does. Um, after that, I can actually record samples and play them back. For instance, right now I'm speaking into the microphone. And now I can play back that same recorded voice sample. Right now, I'm speaking into the microphone. So, that's that. But another fun thing about this project is I decided to try to learn uh, HLS for the first time, which, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, essentially, in my example that I did, let me just pull it up really quick. I basically combined two things, two of the examples that Digilint, not Digilint, Xilinx already made. It's part of their example projects. They had one example that kind of shows how you can use uh, the Pragma macro to create your own uh, XI light uh, interface, which is pretty simple. Then also took their example on uh, FIR, and they have a template class already prepared. So essentially I went online, found an uh, interesting website that used it to design a simple FI filter. Essentially what I'm planning to do with this filter is use it to filter out like noise from the higher frequency, so it's a simple low pass, but generated it, and I already instantiated it in my block design, which I'll show later. And just to demonstrate the filter, I'm going to use the same uh, recorded sample that I did earlier. So if I play the recorded sample, this is what it sounds without the filter. Right now, I'm speaking into the microphone. And here's what it sounds like when I turn on the filter. Right now, I'm speaking into the microphone. So hopefully that sounds... Hopefully you can hear that difference when I actually have this video online, but if you listen closely, there's less static in the background and it sounds more clear. Essentially all it's doing is filtering out the higher components. In fact, let's see if I can pull up a picture really quick. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, so here's the filter response. So as you can see, like the cutoff is around, I think it's around, uh, uh, can't exactly tell where the cutoff is, but it's a low pass filter. And that's basically it for the project. There's actually one small bug that I could not figure out, and it's kind of a major bug too. And it's weird because I'm basically using a lot of the same code from the first uh, from the piano project that I did last time, but I don't have the same error, so I'm hoping to figure this out when I do something similar in the future. But for whatever reason, whenever I start up the project and run it for the first, like whenever I boot up uh, the Linux kernel for the first time, and I try to run my application, for whatever reason, the sound like gets corrupted. That is until I close the program and restart it, and every time afterward, it just works perfectly, and it's make it. It's throwing me off completely. Spent probably 
I like four, uh, three to four hours. I forgot the exact time, but I spent a lot of time trying to like fix the issue, trying to see like what the difference be between uh, this project and the last project. But that's basically it for this video. In the next video, like I said before, I'm working on essentially doing something similar in user space. Still haven't learned how to make a Linux kernel yet. In a project in the future, I'll do that. But for now, I'm just doing everything in a user space. Uh, basically uh, allocating, basically doing, um, using the Linux API and map function to uh, map virtual memory to physical memory. In the next project, project I'm going to use uh, the VGA and uh, technically also the HDMI since I'm essentially taking the same code from the digital example and then porting it over to uh, Linux, which for the most part actually got work. I'm just trying to make it more tidy. But before I close off, I guess I can show you my design, you know. This is it basically. It's not very clear. Can I zoom in? Can I zoom in? Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna post this on my GitHub so anybody who's interested can take a closer look at it. But like I said before, I'm just using the uh, the same uh, I2S I ADI core. And in addition to that, I'm also, I also created, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I also created this this HLS core using HLS. All it is is a FIR filter. Surprising, it was surprisingly easier than I thought. Granted, I did base this off of like a few examples, but including a um, AXA interface is surprisingly pretty straightforward. Uh, can't wait to do more sophisticated stuff with this. Uh, it it was actually really quick to like generate the code. Granted, I'm using a much co better computer than I used to, so that, that could be the reason why it uh, ran so quickly. But it worked the first time, so that made me pretty excited. I was a little worried that I was going to have issues generating this, but it did actually work, and I'm pretty happy that it did. But that basically concludes this demonstration video. Um, stay tuned for next time, and goodbye.